Brown Nation lovers, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday, and I will be reviewing this foundation right here, which is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. So right off the bat, it comes like in this glass bottle. It is one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters. It has this little plastic top, and it has a squeeze pump, which you guys know that I like. And I'm wearing the color Golden Honey number 93. Now on the very front of the bottle, it says that this is a skin transforming foundation. So this isn't your average foundation. It's supposed to actually help your skin look better over time. It says it has a titanium dioxide sunscreen, which SPF 15. And that's all the bottle really says. So I don't even know what it was about this that made me buy it, maybe because it said Super Stay, but I had to get more information on the Maybelline website. So according to the Maybelline website, it's supposed to be a foundation that provides all day flawless coverage. And it's supposed to give you better looking skin after three weeks, and it's supposed to be fade proof, and it won't transfer, and it looks just applied all day. So this is my just applied look, and I would love to look like this later in the day but we will find out. So there are a total of 16 different shades for this foundation. According to the website, it says this is one of their new shades, the Golden Honey. There's actually only one shade darker than my skin tone called Coconut. So this is number 93, Coconut is number 95, and that's kind of it for the browner skin tones. Starting on a freshly moisturized face, I'm now gonna grab my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. This is the primer I used in all of my Foundation Friday videos, so I thought I'd just keep it consistent for today. And hoping that this can help with my very oily skin. Alrighty, let's do this. I'm gonna shake it up, take off this little clear top, and I will be using a beauty blender. So let's see what this one pump gonna do. Ooh, a little bit more. It looks like it's pretty thick. Pretty creamy. It looks like it's a little orange. Hmm, we'll see. So that first pump didn't get as far as I wanted it to, so I'm going in with a second pump to get some more coverage. Okay, I think the foundation is now complete. You get some pretty good coverage. It's not like extreme full coverage. Uh, it still feels really nice and lightweight, and it actually went on pretty matte, even though it didn't claim to go on matte, but I'm not shiny at all, which is always a great start for me. So now I'm gonna put on the rest of my face. Now I'm ready. So right now, my skin looks really good. I really like this soft, look it has, it's very matte right now. And I actually don't really mind the color anymore now that I've added like my contour, my powder, I think everything blended out very nicely. So I'm actually excited to see how long this lasts. So it is currently 4 p.m. I'm going to wear this as long as I can. I got kind of a late start today, but I will be back in a couple hours to see how well it holds up on my oily skin. And we're back, it is now 11 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of seven hours. And this is how shiny I am. I'm actually very surprised at how well this foundation did. I've heard mixed things about this, but I'm still getting really good coverage everywhere else. It lasted the whole time. I'm just a little shiny in the areas that I usually get shiny. So now I'm going to blot my skin using these oil absorbing sheets from Walgreens. I use these in all of my videos. And I'm just gonna press it down. Ah, much better. Ta-da! It looks really good. I look really matte right now and I'm still having my full coverage. And the bottle says I'm supposed to have that like first applied look. It looks pretty darn good. This is how much oil is on my skin. It's actually not that bad. Sometimes it's like so greasy that it's like super see-through. But I did get a good amount, but the makeup did not come off. So I love to see that the makeup is still on my face and not on the sheet. So this is my finished face after seven hours. What do you guys think? If you guys have tried this before, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. But I don't feel like too many people are talking about this. And they probably should. My skin looks really good right now. So now that it's got me curious, I will continue to use this probably every day. Maybe I'll try to do it for the whole three week thing and see if it actually helps my skin over time like it claims to. So if you wanna see how that works, 
make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you could see my week to week update. I do want to try some more drugstore foundations for you all. So if you have a certain drugstore foundation you want me to try, leave me a comment and let me know and I will try to get it for my next foundation Friday. I do post foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair product reviews on Sundays. So I hope you hit that subscribe button, that notification button and come back next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Thank you.